Hi friends, welcome to softwaretestingmaterial.com. My name is Rajkumar. In this video, I will show you how to install GitHub in Eclipse and how to upload our project to GitHub and how to clone the project from GitHub to Eclipse. Coming to installation, if you are using Eclipse latest version that is Mars or later versions of Mars, then there is no need to install eGit. In case you are using Eclipse version older than Mars, then you need to install eGit in your Eclipse. Anyways, I will show you how to install eGit plugin in this video. Before that, Let's see what is Git. Git is the most widely used modern version control system in the world today. It is used for tracking changes in any set of files. It maintains the history. Actually, it is an open source project. It provides us an opportunity to create local Git repository. It allows you to commit your work locally and then sync your copy of the repository with the copy on the server. Using GitHub, we may save our time and it's very easy process to store our code online and access from anywhere. With Git, we will have two repos. One is Git remote repository, that is online repo. And second one is git local repository which stores in your system when you clone the remote repository git creates a local repository in your system these things we will see in the latter sections let's see what is the what are the prerequisites to move forward we need eclipse ide and a github account Let's see how to integrate Git in Eclipse. Go to help, install new software. You have to give an URL to download eGit. Check description for the link. I have copied the URL and give the name as eGit and click on OK. Click on select all to select all at a time and click on next. Wait until the installation has been finished. When the installation process has been finished, Eclipse restarts automatically. It will take some time. Yeah, click on next. Click on I accept terms and conditions and finish. Eclipse will restart automatically now. Here to ensure that git is successfully installed or not, go to windows, show view, other and under git you could see all these files now let's see how we upload our script into git repository online right click on the project and go to team share project and create a folder here under git i am creating a new folder with name my git projects my local git and click on ok and click on finish just click on finish again and under windows go to show view and you click on git repositories now and click on ok in the repositories tab you can see my local git right click on the project
steam commit and you can see all these files are in unstage add to index you can see all the files in the staged put some comments test commit and click on commit once you have committed go to the repositories you can see under local you can see a master and right click on the project team and show history you can see the master is committed now right click go to team and go to push branch master and now you have to go to your git account and here is my git account I am creating a repository here new repo I am giving a repository name like git project and I am choosing it as a public pro, pro, public and don't forget to select readme you need to initialize this repository and once it is created click on clone and copy the URL HTTPS URL and paste it here and uh, at URI and you need to pass your username and password of your git account here is my username and my password once it is done just click on next again click on next before that click on force overwrite branch yeah click on finish we need to pass the exact user credentials of git it will take some time it's done click on ok go to your git account and check whether all the files which are available in our project are saved in uh, git online repository just refresh this page yes exactly now you could see the project maven project under that you could see all the files which we have committed in the local repository or available in the online repository so now let's see how to uh, download any project from git to our local system eclipse right click on package explorer and click on import under git select project from git and click on next clone uri give your https url at uri and there is no need to pass the username and password here it is a public repository click on next it will take some time and after finished you can see the project in your package explorer in the left hand sidebar this is the project we have uh, downloaded from the git repository to our eclipse thanks friends if you have any queries please comment below if you did enjoy this video be sure to like the video and share with your friends don't forget to subscribe this channel by clicking that subscribe button and press bell icon to get some interesting videos on software testing both manual and automation. I will see you in the next video soon. Have a good day.